I should hit the start recording button instead of the start streaming button. That would work better. So right now I'm actually testing the new RTX voice from NVIDIA for noise suppression on microphones. I'm going to let it sit here. Dead air. No noise suppression. I think you can probably hear my computer running. I don't have my, I don't, I don't have my ceiling fan on. Let me turn my ceiling fan on real quick. Ah, you know what? I'm going to put it on high. Ceiling fan's on high. Okay. Now, we're going to vape. Knock on the desk a little bit. I don't know. I'm just kind of messing around at this point. Now let's uh, turn that up to about 50%. Still hear that. That's kind of loud, though. This thing is kind of loud, all things considered. But what you're not catching is the ceiling fan which is on high right now, and I actually never have it on high because this little tiny thing puts out a great deal of wind. Uh, let's go ahead and punch that up to 75%, roughly. Looks like that still picks up on the microphone. And it may still, if I'm doing this directly with the microphone, right here, right in front of my face. I mean, I'm eight inches away from it. Uh, so it may still pick that up, but let's go ahead and punch that up to 100% noise suppression. And uh, of course, the fan you can't hear. As far as I can tell, that's not picking up at all. Of course, I still have to go back and, and uh, listen to this. Uh, looks like that still picks up. But again, I'm literally eight inches from my microphone. If I go off to the side, it still picks it up. But still, it's not picking up the ceiling fan directly above me on high. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type some nonsense here on my mechanical keyboard. Looks like it still picks it up a little bit. So maybe using this in addition to some other filters directly in OBS might be a good idea. Uh, but uh, it seems to work pretty well for other ambient sounds around. Now, I don't have a perfect setup, of course. Uh, but not bad. Not bad. Again, I have to go back and listen to it. So which I'm going to do right now. So coming back to this, I have to say that I'm really impressed with the, the removal of background noise using RTX voice. The noise suppression for ambient sounds is actually pretty good. It is another piece of software to run. That is true. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly how much in the way of resources it uses. But we can definitely come in here and see. Okay, so it's currently using 2.1% of my CPU and 1.8 megs of RAM. Uh, that could be an issue if you don't have a lot of memory. I believe I'm running 32 gigs, so you know, not not a not a huge deal, not a huge deal. Um, and then of course it's also likely using. I haven't done a lot of research, so it's likely also using um, the GPU as opposed to the CPU to do this. I, I would expect it's all you know. Uh, it's available to Quattro and RTX users. So there's that. Now, I have gone into OBS and added uh, 
a couple other filter filters. I went ahead and put my compressor back on and I put a noise gate back on because I'm sure that you probably don't want to hear this. <laughs> That's a lot better. That doesn't get picked up at all. So anyways, if you guys are looking for different filters to use uh, to try to cut down on noise when you're streaming from your PC, RTX Voice, I think is definitely a good way to go. I've spent a lot of time working with the uh, the the Reaper plugins, and they've been giving me fits for a long time because I would go in, I would try to edit them, and it would completely crash OBS, and that's a problem. That's a problem. I don't need that happening. A, a little extra use on my resources, I'm okay with that as long as it produces something that I think sounds good. So there's that. Uh, so anyways, just, just a little something that uh, I was playing around with this morning. Hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully it can help somebody else. I don't know. Let me go stitch these two videos together and, and uh, go ahead and post it so you guys have something to listen to or watch or whatever. Anyways, I'll catch y'all tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern. You know where.